Listening to another episode of Grade One English. I am your radio teacher for today, Teacher Emma Luisa. Of course, you are tuning to Radio Escola sa Isabella. All right. Anyway, have you eaten your meal, my dear Grade One? Yes, ma'am. Good. That means you'll enjoy this day because you have energy to learn. This time, let me check your things. Are your pencil, paper, and module ready? Oh, yeah! To make learning more exciting, you can call your parents as well as your guardian to help and guide you as we discuss our topic. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! Great! Before we proceed to our new lesson, Let's have a short review in the form of a game titled, Guess the Feeling! Yay! Listen carefully. I will read the sentences and describe the feelings in every situation. Are you ready? Oh yeah! Let's start with number one. Mario receives a prize from his godmother. What do you think you will feel? Exactly! He feels happy! Number 2 Rita gets a low score in her quiz. What do you think she will feel? Correct! Rita feels sad! Number 3 the boy sees a big dog barking at him. What do you think he will feel? Amazing! He feels afraid. For number four, her little brother destroys Manel's toy. What do you think she will feel? Nice! She feels angry. But, take note kids, once this happens to you, don't be angry to your little brothers or sisters. Be kind telling them not to do it next time, okay? Okay! And lastly, number 5. Aunt Lucia wins in a game. What do you think she will feel? Incredible! She feels happy! Congratulations! You really understood the lesson yesterday! Hooray! Are you excited to learn about our new lesson today, kids? Oh, yeah! I know it very well! Do you love stories? Yes, ma'am! Good! Because today, you are expected to listen to stories and poems and identify cause and effect of the events. Listen attentively to our story for afterwards. We'll answer some questions. Is that clear? Oh yeah! There we go! One morning, Mom Pepe took Rico and Dina to the farm to visit the animals. They went around to feed and played with the animals. After an hour, they got tired and sat under the tree. They were tired but happy. 
Did you understand the story? Yes, ma'am! Let me see if you did. Number one. Where did Mom Pepe and the children go? Correct! Mom Pepe and the children went to the farm. Number two. Why did Rico and Dina sit on the grass? Very good! Because they were tired. Number three. What made them tired? Exactly! They feed and play with the animals. Number four. Why were Rico and Dina happy? Very good! They were happy because they were able to visit the farm. You really listen attentively. Give yourself a big, big clap. And now, get your pencil and module and turn it to page 2. Let's identify the cause and effect in the given statements. I will read the sentences twice. As you listen, underline the cause or why it happened once and the effect or how it happened twice. Again, Underline the cause or why it happened once and the effect or how it happened twice. Are you ready? Oh, yeah! Number 1. Rico and Dina got tired because they went around the farm to feed and play with the animals. I repeat. Number 1. Rico and Dina got tired because they went around the farm to feed and play with the animals. Number 2. Rico and Dina got tired so they sat under the tree. Again. Number 2. Rico and Dina got tired so they sat under the tree. Number 3. Rico and Dina were happy because Mang Pepe took them to the farm to feed and play with the animals. Again, number 3. Rico and Dina were happy because Mang Pepe took them to the farm to feed and play with the animals. Are you done? Yes, ma'am! Okay, let's check your answers. Be honest. Alright! Number 1. The cause is, they went around the farm to feed and play with the animals. And the effect is, Rico and Dina got tired. Number 2. The cause is, Rico and Dina got tired. And the effect is, they sat under the tree. Number 3. The cause is, Mom Pepe took them to the farm to feed and play with the animals. And the effect is, Rico and Dina were happy. Who got it all? Amazing! You did a great job! Yay! Do you like another story? Oh yeah! Let's proceed to page 3 of your module. You can read there the story titled, A Healthy Boy. Are you excited? Yes, ma'am! Listen carefully. Find out what happened and why it happened. Okay! Here's the story. A Healthy Boy Rico grew to be a healthy boy. He is big and strong. He eats a healthy breakfast before he goes to school. He drinks milk every day. He eats fruits and vegetables too. After school, he plays in the yard happily. 
These things make Vico a healthy boy. Hooray! Alright, number one. How did Vico grow up? Very good! Vico grew to be a healthy boy. Number two. Why did Vico become healthy? Correct! He eats good breakfast. He drinks milk. He eats fruits and vegetables too. He plays in the yard. Number three. Do you also want to grow healthy? What will you do? Wow! Nice job, kids! You can be Vico the healthy boy who drinks milk and eats fruits and vegetables. We're up to another story that show cause and effect. Can you guess the next? Right, it's about flood. Have you experienced this? What did you do? Why flood happened? Let's find out in this story. The flood. It rained for many days. The rivers overflowed. The streets were flooded. Soon, many of the houses were under water. Many plants and animals died. People lost their houses and had nothing to eat. Did you understand the story? Oh yeah! Let's see if you did. Ready to answer the following questions. Alright! What is the story about? Correct! The story is about flood. Why do rivers overflow and streets flooded? Very good! Because it rained for many days. What happened because of the flood? Correct! Rivers overflowed and streets were flooded. Have you experienced a similar situation? What happened? What did you do? Remember, days after Typhoon Ulysses in November 2020, Cagayan and Isabella saw devastating flood and landslides, but through faith and humanity, were able to survive. Hooray! Kids, did you notice too that the short story you listened to tells a cause and effect relationship? The cause answers the question, why it happened while effect answers the question what happened let's pick out the cause and effect in the story you listened to refer to the boxes on page 5 of your module why do rivers overflow why do streets were flooded the answer is because it rained for many days this simply means that the cause is, it rained for many days. Its effects are, the rivers overflowed and the streets were flooded. Is it clear, kids? Oh, yeah! Let's take a look with the next. Why houses are underwater? Why did many plants and animals die? Why did people lost their houses and had nothing to eat? It's because the rivers overflowed and the streets were flooded. So, the causes here are rivers overflowed and streets were flooded. As an effect, 
Houses were underwater. Plants and animals died. And people lost their houses and had nothing to eat. Through our examples, can you see the difference between cause and effect? Let's try this activity. Listen as I read the story of Nina. Find out what happened to her and why it happened by identifying the cause and effect. Listen carefully. Today is a special day for Nina. Can you guess why? It is Nina's birthday. And Aling Martha, her mother, cooked all her favorite food. But you know what happened to Nina on her special day? First, Nina ate too much. Her stomach hurt. Can you identify the cause and effect in the statement? Correct! Nina ate too much is the cause. Her stomach hurt is the effect. Next, Nina got sick. She stayed at home. Where's the cause and effect? Bravo! Nina got sick is the cause. She stayed at home is the effect. Comes next. Nina drank her medicine. She got well. What's the cause and effect? Brilliant! Nina drank her medicine is the cause. She got well is the effect. Lastly, Nina is happy. She can play with her friends again. Identify the cause and effect. You got it! Why can Nina play with her friends again? Because she's happy. Were you able to identify the cause and effect correctly in the story? Yes, ma'am! Congratulations! You did understand how to identify cause and effect. I know you are prepared for the next challenge. But let's wrap up first what you have learned in this lesson through Hap Hap Hooray! If you hear the meaning of cause, shout Hap Hap! If it is the meaning of effect, shout Hooray! I repeat, if you hear the meaning of cause, shout Hap Hap! If it is the meaning of effect, shout hooray! Okay, number one. It is the reason things happened. It answers the question why it happened. Hap hap hooray! <laughs> Very good. Number two. It is the result of something. It answers the question. What happened? Hap hap hooray! Hooray! Job well done, kids! Yay! This time, take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it! Since you understood the lesson today, let's check on what you can do. Open your module on page 8. Listen and follow with your eyes as I read the story. Answer the first and second question. Write your answer in your English notebook. Did you follow? Yes, ma'am! The question for the first story are Number 1. What happened to the plants? Number 2. Why did the plants die? I repeat, the questions for the story are Number 1. What happened to the plants? Number 2. Why did the plants die? Now, here's the story. 
Miss Rivera asked Simon to water the flowering plants in front of their classroom. All day, Simon enjoyed playing with his classmates and forgot to water the plants. The next day, Simon saw that all the plants died. Again, the first question is, what happened to the plants? The second question is, why did the plants die? Time's up! Let's check your answers! For the first question, what happened to the plants? Exactly! The plants died! For question number two, why did the plants die? Good! Simon forgot to water them. Did you get the correct answers? Oh yeah! We'll continue then. For the next story, these are the questions to be answered. First, what was the results of race tests? Second, why did he get high scores? Here's the story. Miss Ramos informs her class that they will have a test on Friday. Ray reads his lessons, he study well, and does not watch TV. When the test results come out, Ray got the highest score. Answer the first question. What was the result of Ray's tests? Answer the second question, why did he get high scores? Time to reveal the answers. First question is what was the result of race test? Excellent! He got the highest score. Second question, why did he get high score? Exactly! He reads his lessons every day and he studied very well and did not watch TV. Did you perfect the answer? Oh yeah! Congratulations! Indeed, you're doing well! Well, let's test how much you have learned in our lesson. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! Alright, open your module on page 10. All you need to do is to listen as I read the poem twice. As you listen, take note of the answers to the questions. Number one, what will you do when you cross the street? Number two, what might happen when you do not stop, look, and listen? Number three, why should you listen well and look around? Number four, why should you obey traffic rules? 
Next, you need also to fill out the table on page 14 to complete the thought. For number 1, under cause, did not blank, under effect, hit by a car. For number 2, under the cause, listened well and looked around, under effect, did not blank. For number three, under the cause, blank, under the effect, was safe and sound. Can you follow? Oh, yeah! All right, here's the poem. Stop, look, and listen. Stop, look, and listen. Before you cross the street, use your eyes, use your ears so that you will not be hit. Listen well and look around so that you will not fall on the ground. Never then will you get hurt if you obey traffic rules on the way. I repeat, stop, look, and listen. Stop, look, and listen before you cross the streets. Use your eyes, use your ears so that you will not be hit. Listen well and look around so that you will not fall on the ground. Never then will you get hurt if you obey traffic rules on the Alright! Grade 1! I know you're done answering! Ready for the answers? Check your papers honestly! Number 1. What will you do when you cross the street? Correct! You need to stop, look, and listen! Number 2. What might happen when you do not stop, look, and listen? Exactly! You might be hit by a vehicle. Number 3. Why should you listen well and look around? Correct! So that you will not fall on the ground. Number 4. Why should you obey traffic rules? Very good! So that you will not get hurt. Congratulations! You did great! Alright! Now, let's check the answers in your table. First one is, write the cause. Why did he hit by a car? Correct! Did not stop, look, and listen. Next one is, write the effect. What happened if you listened well and look around? Very good! You will not fall on the ground. Next is write the cause. Why was safe and sound? Correct! Obeying traffic rules. Did you get the right answers? Yes, ma'am! You always make me proud, kids! For your additional activity, Ask a member of your family to tell a story. After listening to them, list down the cause and effect by filling out the tables on page 11 of your modules. Pass your answer to your teacher for checking. So, there you have it! 
this is the end of our lesson for today, kids. Keep turning to Radio Escola sa Isabella for more interesting lessons to come. This is Teacher Emma Luisa M. Fernando, leaving you the words, Keep reading for better learning. Goodbye, kids, and keep safe! Patuloy! Patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon! Sa daan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan! Kaya halina sa Radyo! Radyo! Radyo Eskwela!